my name is Shannon. And I'm Melanie. And we're here today with the video. I'm sorry we're both a little bit under the weather. I'm, I've am i been fighting a cold, and so has she. But we uh, wanted to do a video, I guess, weekend reads, uh, wrap-up, haul. I mean, what do, what do you want to call oh, it? Just uh, what we've been reading, why we've been under the weather. Well, I will start with what I finished. I buddy read these two books with my friends Lika, Lico and Melissa. Lico loves reads, and Melissa and Barnsey read. Lico -E loves books. Lico loves books. Lico, I am so sorry. Um, but anyway, we read the astonishing color of after, and it was so good. Um, it is about a, a girl named Lee whose mother commits suicide, and it just, uh, and then her dad sends her to Taiwan to get to know her grandparents on her mother's side. And it's just, it's sad, but beautiful. It's magical realism. It's, it's just, it's a really heartwarming book. You said there's a lot of color expression in the book? Yes, a lot of expressions, like, it, like, her feelings they they put into colors and her her mom goes through a, a battles a very 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 bad depression goes through shock therapy it, it's 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 very very touching but so we go through her mom's life we back go back in time yeah you go back into the past yes um periodically but I'd highly recommend this book, The Astonishing Color of After. And we also buddy read the second installment in the Car Caraval series, which is legendary. And I loved it. Um, very good. I can't obviously go into uh, much detail because this is the second book. And if you've not read Caraval, definitely pick this, up, um, this series up. And I'm currently buddy reading... Um, with Melissa over at Melissa and Barnsey Read, we are reading Torch Against the Night. Um, we are reading to 300 today, um, but very good. Again, it's the second in the series, so I can't go a whole lot into detail, um, but very good read so far. Um, I believe we are reading to 300 today. My, I'm sorry if you hear that. That's my cat pumpkin opening the door, which he knows how to do. Uh, but anyway, we picked up The Lies You Never Told Me. I had the ARC. I did give it to my friend Megan, who is currently reading it. Uh, but we picked up the finished copy, Lies You Never Told Me. It is mind-blowing. Please pick it up. She couldn't put the book down. I read it in one sitting, basically. I mean, it was in the middle of the night. She couldn't put the book down. She... Yeah, yeah. For, I mean, very, very good read. <laughs> sleep and deprived. I, I wanted Mel to read it, so. I'm going to be sleep deprived. I've got to finish. I've got to finish. <laughs> and another book I've been meaning, 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 meaning to get because he is my all-time, all-time favorite. He's the king. Guess what? Sleeping Beauties. I'm really excited to get into this. Um, it is also a collaboration with his son, Owen King. Very excited. Um, I think it's a, it's. I'll read the uh, synopsis, part of it. Um, in a future so real and near, it might be now something happens when women go to sleep. They become shrouded in a co cocoon-like gauze. And if that if they're awakened, if the gauze is disturbed or violated, the women become feral and violent. And it's just all kinds of badass, I believe, and can't wait to read it. Now I'm going to let Melanie take over. Oh, right now I am reading a book that's destroying me. It, oh my gosh. She's told me all about it <clears throat> and I really want to read it at some point. Um, a Little Life by... She's very far. She's got to believe about 13 hours left. Yagahara. In the audiobook? Yes. I, I am over halfway through. It is a drama. Definitely a drama. Every trigger imaginable. Rape. Abuse, suicidal ideation, cutting, self harm, drug abuse. So please go into this book with caution. Eating disorders. Uh, it is. It will tear you up, but it is sweet, very sad, heart wrenching. If you don't mind a tear jerker, and you can deal with any trigger imaginable, I would say read this book. 
Uh, Jude so far is kind of upsetting me uh, <clears throat> and how he is not allowing his friends into his life and a lot of things but it's about these four gentlemen who basically their lives growing up together one is an artist one is an actor one is a lawyer one is a painter that I believe turns into a doctor so it follows their lives from when they first met in college to the present day and it flashes back to the time before they met especially in with Jude also has characters like Harold uh, who was a law professor uh, there's a, like I said a lot of triggers I don't want to spoil the book but I have to let you know there are triggers for anything imaginable oh, so yeah. if you are sensitive to any type of trigger you be forewarned this is this is might get to you I I'm kind of, as Caddy Tastic would say, a robot, and I don't usually cry like I would see a movie or read a book. That's just not generally what I do. I mean, I watch a Stephen King movie, and sometimes I'll laugh through it. I watched The Shining, and yeah, I laughed. Yeah, The Shining. I thought it was hilarious. I mean, that that's terrible to say, but I thought it was funny. This destroyed me, and I'm part robot in the sense I rarely cry <clears throat> so I will let you know how that book turns out I picked up a book called the Kish Quotient by Helen Hong and it is about this uh, lady who has Asperger's and she wants to hire an escort it deals with diversity, Asian American diversity, and um, Asperger's syndrome. So, this ought to be a very good read. She wants to learn how to socialize in certain settings. It is an own voices novel, from what I have been told, and it is uh, adult romance. So, be aware it is going to be a little steamy. Also, have in the YA category. Undead Girl Gang. It's about this uh, girl who is Wiccan, and she finds out that her best friend and two mean girls have died via suicide pack, according to others. She does not believe her best friend would go into a suicide pack with these mean girls who have bullied both of them. So it goes on their journeys, deciding. Uh, she raises them from the two mean girls and her best friend from the dead, trying to find out if they could tell her who murdered them because she believes it was a murder. Mm -hmm. Then we have Ship It. This is a book that was uh, suggested by Melissa, uh, Melissa and Barnsey Reed, R E I D. So I'm looking forward to getting to do this book. It's about a girl who uh, goes to Comic Con. There's a character. She's 16 years old and fangirl obsessed with the show Demon Heart. Forrest is an actor from on Demon Heart who wants to go into bigger roles. He feels like he's too big for this role. And when the two meet at a local Comic Con panel, it's a dream come true for Claire until the Q and A in which she finds out Forrest when Forrest laughs off Clary's assertion that his character is gay and Claire is devastated so I'm going to be very interested in to see how this plays out mm -hmm. I think she goes in and tries to do damage control for the show and for his rep also I have 16 candles my wife graciously picked these two books up for me while I was very sick I was very ill running a low grade save the day low i was running a low grade fever and she was kind enough to pick these books up this one is a been mark it's been marketed as a 16 candles versus father of the bride type book about a girl and her fam there's like five members in the family i believe and the oldest is getting married so it kind of reminds me of the brady bunch wedding because I see on the front, if you know the pilot to the Brady Bunch, Carol and, oh gosh, Carol, Brady Bunch, okay. 
I cannot think of his, the character's name. Mike. Carol and Mike get married, and there's a big fiasco. The cake tumbles over. So that kind of reminds me of that scene from the Brady Bunch <laughs> when the kids were all trying to get together. But there's a lot of mishaps. It should be a lot of fun. <coughs> then I, I picked up the Butterfly Book Club Book of the Month is um, Simon and the Homo Sapiens versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which is really good. I've seen the movie, read the book, and we'll go into live discussion of that. I finished Boy Erased, which has triggers for rape and self-harm. It is a memoir, true story, by Jared Conley, who was willingly went to a camp, conversion camp, to try to help him overcome his homosexuality. It is a camp that was ran by Exodus International called Love in Action. It's going to be turned in, it's going to be turned into a motion, major motion picture. So I wanted to read this before the movie came out. Then there's Krista Dora, which is a book that deals with the AIDS epidemic, which I'm excited about reading this month for Pride. And book that I am reading um, with Ashley from Ashley versus the Bookish Agenda. It Symptoms of Being Human by Jeff Garvin. It's about Riley Cavanaugh, who was a non-binary person. Um, they feel that sexuality isn't a switch, but more of a dial, because Riley some days feels more masculine, and other days feels more feminine. So this was a very good book. It taught me a lot about what being non-binary means. So I really enjoyed this book. I also picked up this book about um, the art of being normal. It's about a trans individual, transgender uh, individual. So I don't know too much about this book yet, so I'm reading it for Pride this month. Hopefully I can get into it before the month ends. Mm -hmm. So those are all the reads that I have that I'm going into, plus Girl Made of Stars, which I, I don't know that much about, but I will tell you more about it as I read it. And... So that does it for our book haul and book reviews. And then um, I just recently got back uh, my Nook. And then once I figure out how to get my books back on here, um, I'll do what's on my Nook. I got it too so I can listen to audiobooks at work. Um, but that's what I have. Until next time. And we're going to go eat lunch. <laughs> I'm Melanie. And I'm Shannon. And we wish you peace, love, books, and coffee. And many blessings. Bye.